Hey guys and welcome to a build guide for the AKS-74 and the AKS-74N. Currently the AKS-74 isn't actually in circulation but it has been added before so it should be added again. So to start off we're going to head over to Skier Tier 2. We're going to need to get ourselves the Zenit PT3 lock. As well as the AKS-74 slash AKS-74 UPT lock. Then we need to get ourselves the Zenit RK3 pistol group. Then we need to go to tier 3. Get ourselves the PWS CQB-74 muzzle brake. And then we need to go to tier 4. We need to get ourselves the Fab Defense PDC dust cover for the AK-74 as well as the Zenit RK24 group. Now we're going to need to head over, actually we need to go back to Skier again. Tier 2, we need to get ourselves the Zenit RP1 charge handle. This is just increased ergo but every little helps. Now we need to go to Mechanic. We need to go to Tier 3 and we need to get ourselves the Strike Industries Key Mod 6 inch guide. Then we need to go to tier 4 and get ourselves the Viltor CMRD key mod handguard for the AK. And now if you're looking for the lowest recoil build, you need to head over to Prepper tier 2 and get yourselves the Cobra EKP8 reflex sight. Now let's put all of this together. And here you go. This is the lowest recoil build for the AKS-74 and the AKS-74N. Okay, so we're inside the hideout. Let's load a mag. Ah, that's quite an impressive recoil pattern from standing. Alright, let's try crouched. Okay, so as you can see, that's where I initially shot and then it all kicked up basically into his head. But guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. This is very common along the scab bosses, so you should see this kind of actually surprisingly often. Um, but yeah guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. And I'll see you in the next video.